everyone, we're going to do the magic hexagon for Pythagorean trig identities. Uh, we're going to put sine, cosine, tan, cotan, uh, secant, and cosecant. Again, all the C's are on the right side here. And you have to go in this order, and hopefully you watched the previous videos, but these are for the identities, and this is a little different. So what we're going to do is um, just use this one here and draw like this. And we're going to put a 1 in the middle like we did some of the others. Okay, and then you're going to draw one here. And you're going to draw one here. Okay, and then the way we're going to write this is I'll start with sine. And you go in this order, so... We're starting with sine, and you're going to square it. So sine squared of x plus, now this went this way. So the next is cosine. So cosine squared of x equals, and we ended here at 1. Okay. And now let's look at the tan one. So we're going to start with tan. So tan squared. Then we went around here to 1, so plus 1, and that's going to equal secant squared. And then for the last one, we're going around this way, so we're going to do cotan, or we're going to do 1 first. So 1 plus cotan. equals, and we're ending at secant, cosecant. So we're ending at cosecant, and that would be cosecant squared. And that's your Pythagorean identities. Now you could do more with this and rearrange this, but I think it's easier just to remember it this way. But of course you can go backwards and say secant squared minus 1. For example, I'll do one real quick. So if we start here, we could say start here and go the other way. I'll do it in green. We're going to go this way. When you go that way, it would be secant squared, but you're subtracting. So minus 1 equals tan squared. And you could do um, the rest of them very, the similar, similarly. We could go backwards and do it the other way. So we could say, I'll do one more. I could say start here and go this way. So I could say cosecant x squared minus cotan squared of x equals r1. And you can also do uh, the, uh, the sign. So you could do 1, go that way and say 1 minus cosine squared equals sine squared of x. Or you could go back the other way, and same with the others. You could go 1 and go that way. 1 minus sine squared equals cosine squared. It can get a little confusing. but um, So there's a lot you can do with that. And that's all, so thank you and have a nice day. Bye-bye.